are like stuck together and so the sound is uh, so you uh. pronounce coeur. so remember they have they have like the emphasis on the R coeur coeur baton Hi guys, thank you for joining me on today's video. If this is your first time here, please consider joining my YouTube family and press that red button down below that says subscribe. And um, also turn on the notification bell so that you are notified when I put new content out, usually on Sundays and Thursdays every week regarding Lux Life and anything early. So guys, for today's video, I wanted to share with you my um, current luxury perfumes that I've been using. I am not very, I just recently got into them. Honestly, it was my pregnant nose that got me um, addicted to one of the luxury houses perfumes and I ended up buying it a uh, full size after I received the sample. But I am a true creature of habit. So before we get into my luxury favorite perfumes, I want to share with you my tried and true, I've been wearing since gosh, high school. And um, yeah, they're just, I know, this is probably going to throw back some people, but I don't care. <laughs> but the Calvin Klein Euphoria, the original version, I still love her. So, uh, so there's just still something about this scent. And I don't think it's a very expensive scent. Um, I've had this one for a while. And honestly, I can find these little guys on TJ Maxx for sale for like $26. And this is a scent that when I am tired of everything else, I always go back to this one. And for some reason, I maybe it takes me back. <laughs> but that is one of my absolute favorites from way back in the day. Um, I actually have a few bottles um, from uh, TJ Maxx that I got that I still haven't used because a few sprays really that's all you need you don't need too much um the second bottle is my bottle of Ralph Lauren romance I don't have the cap anymore I have no idea where it is but this is another one that gives me um a very floral scent and it's one of those that like I said it kind of wears clean slash floral in your body and it just kind of meshes with my natural scent I guess so these two perfumes I've been using for, like I said, about 16 years, if not longer. Um, these were, these are my tried and true. I mean, they're not that expensive, very good gift idea, I would say. And um, most of them will come in a gift set with uh, some lotion or body wash. And I also love those. So those are my, I guess, contemporary brand um, favorites. Now, for luxury brand, when I was pregnant with my kiddo, I received a small sample of this um, perfume and I absolutely fell in love. And it was the um, Yves Saint Laurent um, Metamassal perfume. Now, this scent, it has floral slash citrusy um, undertones into. Yeah, so this one, I can't even explain the smell but I will include a little bit of information on the smell on this side. But this one is the three fluid ounce. It's $126. Um, I've used her, I used her pretty much every day until I got my most recent one. And um, this scent will, it's one of those that will last like a long time on your clothes or on your body. So that's another reason why I was drawn into this one. And like I said, it was my pregnant nose. So that's one of them. So for my next perfume, I actually asked my friend Lauren from Lifestyle is my passion uh, on how to pronounce it correctly. So let's do it together because I still get tongue tied. Let's listen to her. Okay, so I'm just using the audio because I feel like it's easier. And by the way, I will definitely watch that video because I don't have an LV perfume yet. So I'm on the Hi, So um, the first word is obviously um, heart, and it's one of the hardest ones to pronounce because the O-E-U are like stuck together. And so the sound is uh. 
So you pronounce cœur. So remember that you have like the emphasis okay. on the R, like it has to come from deep down, and like you're upset, like. <sighs> um, so altogether, it would be cœur. Cœur. Okay. Cœur. I feel like I'm trying too hard. All right. Um, and then for the second word, it's not that complicated. It's baton. Um, and so baton. here, like the only thing to remember is that you don't pronounce the T at the end, that it's silent. Um, and then A-N is en. So altogether, it's baton. Baton. Okay, that wasn't hard. Um, so for the two words, it's cœur, baton, and that actually means beating heart. Oh my God, I'm such a professor, like <laughs> even here. <laughs> So let's try that together. Um, cur, 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 <laughs> cur, cur, <laughs> cur, baton. All right, that's the best I can do. I'm so sorry, sorry Lauren, I tried. But um, like you heard her say, it um, means beating heart. And um, okay, I'm gonna try again. Cur, cur, okay. Cur, cur, baton. <laughs> That's the best I can do, but you guys heard Lauren. That's how you pronounce it. But I absolutely love this perfume, guys. So one thing about Louis Vuitton perfumes, yes, they're expensive. The 100 milliliter one is um, $265. But the good thing about these bottles is that they're refillable. So I'll put the ref refill amount here. If you ever use this, they basically take the top out and um, put the perfume in there, but there's the the amount for you to refill it. But guys, oh, oh my goodness. Oh. All right, so this smell lasts so long. And even though I don't smell it anymore, like I literally pass by and people are like, hey, is that you? <laughs> it smells that good. So. It is one of those scents that um, it has earthy tones. It has very um, floral uh, tones to it as well. A little bit citrusy, but not too much. So I absolutely love this scent. Very good gift idea for Christmas. Um, because like I said, this is um, less than $300. It's refillable and you can actually get your bottle personalized. Now, I have not done that personally because I um, just haven't had the time, maybe one day, but this is my absolute Louis Vuitton perfume. Now I've tried their other scents. I haven't really gotten into it. Now for the men's, I like the California Dream. I'm gonna post the picture up, uh, over here. I got, in a, I, ha I got a small sample of that for, um, for, for my essay and I gave it to my husband and same thing, it lasts so long. When I smell it on him, I'm like, my, that smells really good. So <laughs> I just wanted to share with you guys my current favorites. These are the only two um, luxury perfumes that I have. Cause like I said, I'm a creature of habit. So when I fall in love with one, I usually wear that for quite some time until I'm ready to try a new one. So um, yeah, I purchased this one in January and I use it pretty much every day. Now, I don't spray it as nearly as much as I just did so that I'm gonna smell really good for dinner tonight um, downstairs in my dining room table. But essentially, this basically lasts me all day. Even my coats and my jacket, when I when I spray it on there, I don't have to respray it for quite some time. So, very good gift idea. Um, I also use this in my um, atomizer that I got from Amazon. So that's the one that I stick in my bags to refresh for the day. But honestly, I only use this if I forgot to spray before I left. I don't usually need to refresh for the day. So if you guys like today's content, please make sure you like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is I love Lux, I-L-V-E-L-U-X. Also, if you have any comments or questions or concerns about today's video, please leave it down below and say hello. That's it for today's video, guys. Thank you, thank you, and have a blessed day.